We're talking now about the the principle that is that we have from the Zohar and the Adizal and from Pardes. What is the principle behind the creation? And uh, as we pointed out, in all in all those sources, even though they express it quite differently, but the principle there is that the principle in the creation is to reveal what to reveal what is contained in Atmos. To reveal Atmos. Although as we said there is nothing contained in Atmos. There's not the oil <coughs> contained in Atmos. But the oil that Atmos has created tells you something about Atmos, as we shall see. This is mm. that we can know, the knowing, the knowledge level, the, the, what facilitates knowledge is not the Oyer's, in the Oyer's of itself. It is the Hispastus Oyer. Meaning, and, and this is what's called the Oyer Commission Bobby Gilly. The Oyer and the stage in the, in the, at, at the stage and in the manner that Paul Begili, that it comes Begili. And this is the union from the Malakol Amin. And the Malakol Amin is facilitated through Tzimtzum, Umiyut, and reduction to enable it to be Mishlabesh in Kedi. There, at that stage, we have the union from the Yidira of the oil itself that's Mishlabesh in Kedi. Does this aspect, the oil commission will be given, and then it's Miss Samson to the point where he can establish in Kingdom. This is what we discussed in the, in the past couple of 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 of, shiuri, of the, uh, sessions, and um, we used a very simple illustration from our own human experience. Because you point out all the time, the human being is a very, very special creature. In that, that even though he functions in the world, but the principle, the spirit behind his function is not worldly. And in order to be mislabish in world, he has to be mitzamtzim to enable that spirit to be contained in a keili. So our illustration was the example of, of a bridge, among others. What was the example of the bridge? The bridge is that which spans from one bank of a river and not to the other bank. In other words, the bridge is what enables a person to go across a, a an area that he would not be able to go otherwise. <coughs> we pointed out this important principle. If he is not able to go there, why does he why is he going there? He doesn't belong here. What's the answer? The answer is that he has got a spirit that does belong everywhere. His spirit is not limited to what he is able to do physically. And here comes a completely new, new phase, new reality. He has the capability to capture his spirit to enable it to express itself in most convoluted, the most difficult manner, and he will accomplish it. This spirit, when it is captured in Seichel, and then in the lower level of the mechanics, and all, he can create a, 
he can create a rocket that flies to the moon. An airplane that, can, that goes circles the earth mm-hmm. in no time. And they pointed out these words that this is where the spirit is needs something to be mislavish in Kaili. This spirit itself needs to be missed something in order to be mislavish in Kaili, as I explained yesterday. There is no such thing as the bridge. In other words, you cannot capture this, the, the, the spirit, the principle of, of being able to, of, of crossing or going across unlimited, and, and not being hampered by, by terrain. You can't capture. You have to be. You have to go down a, a notch lower, and you have to be able to. And you have to reduce it to the point where you can translate it in physical terms. <coughs> the physical term doesn't even. It doesn't even have that spirit, but you have to capture that spirit in a re, on a reduced level. To the point where, when you look at the bridge. You may even lose the sight of the spirit. Hey, it's perfectly physically natural. So we pointed out the, the interesting union, which also helps us enormously to understand what Jesus explains to us. That yes, indeed, through all the throughout the ages, bridges were built in such a manner. But you didn't see the spirit in it. It was a completely, it was completely physically based. But massive structure, structures that lend themselves, you know, you create a massive, and then you put a little boat across. It, it's it, it, it perfectly natural within the, within the contours of the world, within the limits of the world. As time went on, we started building bridges that are actually bridges, not physical structures. Yet still, in all situations, the principle of a bridge, a principle that you can, that, that the spirit carries you unlimited, that still needs to be reduced. It still needs to be in the something. To the point where you translate it um, um, in, on a physical level, though in a much more reduced level manner. But nevertheless, it is in a physical level. The, the suspension bridges have a logical way how they stand. They don't stand on spirit. To build it, you need spirit. To conceptualize it, you need spirit. And I'd like to explain what that means. The world, <coughs> the, the philosophy in the world, the thought process in the world, have lost sight of the spirit, despite all the accomplishments. And the reason, and where did it get lost? got lost in this process. They said that one physical accomplishment led to the next physical accomplishment. <coughs> it's almost a direct a direct result within the physical arena. And this is what we're saying is that it's not correct. Every every new development uh, actually employed was was inspired by 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 a by a, going back to the to the source of the spirit of man. The massive bridges, you know, the London bridges, the, <laughs> did not inspire the Venezuela Bridge. There's absolutely no similarity between them. So 
So this is just to illustrate Pasha on the on, on the human level. A human being, as you said, has to phenomenal spirit and nefesh. On the human level we can illustrate this this principle. But <coughs> how in order to bring it down to a Kaili, it has to be limited to a specific Kaili. You know, you have to you have to limit it to specifically. This is exactly how it's going to work, and no other way. Otherwise, it's not going to it's not going to be it's not going to work. You have to capture the spirit on a, on a on a level where you where there's hardly a, you cannot say this is held up by spirit. It may be inspired to create this way, but it has not held up by spirit. It's held up physically by decay. This is the principle of symptom. Yeah. The, the point that you made about there's only there's not only one bridge, there's not the bridge. Well, what's the uh, what's the point there? That the spirit is so much bigger that it comes down it individual. Well, the, 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 the principle in there is that in order to create any bridge, you have to be with some similar idea. Samson always can come out a little bit differently. What? No, in Samson, then, it have, yeah, then you, you eliminate all other possibilities and you're focusing on one possibility. This one possibility is not, is not an absolute, absolute, absolute possibility. This is one means, one candidate that in which you can express it. But in order to express it, you have to limit something, the idea, to the point where it is limited to this particular candidate. To answer your question, I think so. I mean, do you get the point? I get. I think the I principle think that there is multiple ways of doing it. Yeah. Is telling us that in in, in all, each one of these ways is not capturing the real spirit. It 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 allows the spirit to express itself in a, in a reduced manner. But then you say, oh, this is what a bridge is. But you can build different, oh, this is what a bridge is. Okay, because a bridge really is the spirit. And the, the spirit bridge, cannot really be spirit. captured in one particular. Uh, it's all, and you one. cannot, and uh, when it comes to a keli, you have to be basically to see You have to reduce it to the point where you say, forget about the spirit. How is it going to work here? You can build a bridge on the plants oh, I want it to stay. <laughs> it's not going to work. So the symptom takes into account the particular uh, terrain or, or whatever the particular circumstances of that area that they want to cross. Right. Symptom means that you're reducing the spirit to a, a, all the way to a practical level. And, 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 and then it is conceivable that you lose sight of the spirit altogether. A car is a perfectly logical thing. A good mechanic can tell you exactly how it works. Is that what created it? Not in a million years. That's the key. Without the spirit, you wouldn't have the patience to sit there and with this little bolts and nuts. Like I said many times, a car, the spirit of a car is that you can take a person across the world. Then we take the car and we and we may, and we go in circles. Just want to know: Can we conceive that that going in circles would have created a car? Do you understand what I'm saying? Never. 
This is, this is an abuse, a complete misunderstanding. But I'm creating a car that's going to be able to go in circles. No, it never, it never happened. We should try that. The, 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 the oil is mis- mis- something. Okay, and at this point, okay, now we're going back to, to oil on the key. Uh, let us read inside from the line that begins with Kmoi Shimbabi Gilu. I am base 14 still. And this is like seven lines from the bottom. Yeah. Oyer, Kumeshi Bobby Gil. The Oyer. As it is, meaning the Oyer at the stage. <coughs> that Bobby Gil. What does it mean, Bobby Gil? Bobby Gil means that it can be captured. The Hein. Which means bechinas memale kolam, the bechina of the oil that is memale kolam. What is memale kolam? It means it fills all the worlds. And I explained this is the, the principle of kolam. Kol almin kol al is a, is a huge statement. It's an infinite statement. <laughs> Even as like we said in our world itself, there is no limit to the variety that that there is. And this oil is mamale, fills and, and it relates to each and every variation possible in the world. The reason that it is possible to have an unlimited number of different forms of a leaf is because the oil contains it. These varieties. But it can, and the way it is in the oil. It is in the atom oil. There is there is no way to identify it. Commission Bob Then it can be identified because when when you actually going to design a leaf, then there is going to be a specific design. But that design is rooted and is bringing out the the, the oil at a, of a higher level. The way that it encompasses all the various mamalika, all, all the various forms. Sheboali they seem to be mute. The malakolami this comes Ali Day through the function of Timtu or mute, contraction and reduction. But the oil aims to be mislabish in Kalim and be contained in Kalim. Then, at that level, we have a idea of our soga in the oil that's mislabish in the Kalim. I don't think I got this at Kol Almin. What was that? What was the emphasis that you were, you were making on Mamal Kol Almin? That there is, there is no limit. Kol Almin, all worlds. This is an oil and a key. This is before the t- before the time. Well, mean, it is after the mm-hmm. Tim Oh yeah. But yeah. Have, okay. After the tzimtzum, even after the tzimtzum, there is further tzimtzum and reductions until it actually can be expressed in a specific case. This is before his lapses. Huh? This is before his lapses. This is before his lapses. And this allows for this, the tzimtzum, this tzimtzum allows for his lapses. In the marshal, it's like the spirit of the, bri- of the, of the, spirit of the bridge. That's right. In a, in a closer, closer home, <coughs> Chochm and Bina. Chochm is relative to Bina, it has no cave. 
although this is the source for Duma, is there a definite, is there a limit how you can express an idea of Chochmah? You can, you can, it all depends who you're expressing to and in what circumstances you can express it in, 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 in unlimited ways. Because the Chochmah perception is unlimited. Just like sight versus versus some kind of a physical experience. Yeah, it's called Mimali because it's shy to the world. Because it's because it's already is no, no, it's not a In that in this example Mimali begins from Bina. Because Bina is with Samsung the Chochmah. That allows the oil hachokma to be sabbish and king. Although, in on a, on a broader sense, chokma is part part of the kirchas agru, kirchas agru, kirchas apnini, which is also normal. Where is okay? I don't want to branch off. Okay. 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 So this is where Hasoga is possible. Why are we forcing by, focusing back on Hasoga? Because this is our quote from the Zoya. <coughs> that the whole union of the creation and the given was in order that you made them and you should be known. We have three quotes from the Zoya, from the from Etzchaim and from Pardas. All focusing on this principle that he should be able to be known. The thing that should be known is in from Hasoga. So the Rebbe explains Hasoga pertains to this reduced level where it is with the oil that's mislabish and came. Because you cannot have hasoga in oil that is not mislabish and came. Well, it cannot be mislabish and came. And this hasoga, okay, she ever say the hasoga, here is where as I mean, the Nasoga is possible. <coughs> After the oil comes, the slaps you and the Mamalakolam in a point where he can be slabish in Kayla. In Bibkinis Hasoga has Hamahus. Hasoga itself, there are different levels of Hasoga. Either it is Hasoga's Hamahus, the Hasoga of the Mahus, And we'll talk, discuss about this for a moment. Uh, this is also one of those things we, we use it, the term all the time, but uh, it eludes us as to what uh, that really means. K'moi ba'atzilus, as it is in atzilus. In atzilus, there is hasogas hamuhus of the oil of the key. O ba'asogas hamshomis beganet. And then the Nishomis and Ganeidim <coughs> also have a Hasogas Hamahus in Olakos. Oi, <coughs> or at the lower level, Memchines Hasogas Hamitsius, the aspect of Hasogas of Mitsius, Kamoi Bibiya, the way it is known in Biya, in the world. In the world itself, and the shomis in Gan Eden is also in in the world, but it's uh, but the shomis are not constrained by goof, and therefore they can relate to to the hus or the kus. But once it is a, a, there is a goof, there is a, a, a receptacle, it can be made, it can't relate to the hus or the kus. It has to be to mitzvahs. <coughs> All right. Look, the time is is short anyway. So I, I want to do, I want to take the few more minutes that we left to focus in on the Yip Mahus and Matzias. To us, this is of phenomenal significance. 
because this mahus, asogas amahus, asogas amitzius. This is the difference between understanding the world a real world from a Torah perspective. Like Avraham Avinu was, was saying, this is a bira. This is not disparate koiches. You know what I'm not saying, for instance? Or Amitzius. Amitzius, there's, there's different forces. Together, they, they result in one thing or another, but really, there, there's a different, different forces. Amitzius. So is Hamahus. Like we say, Abira. Once there is a Mahus recognition, the Mahus is self justifying. It's a real presence. It has a full spectrum of reality. I, I can explain the other day. <coughs> the difference between the way we, we, we relate to things by sight or by touch. On the one hand, you say touch. There cannot be a greater knowledge than touch. You're touching the object itself. Sight is you, you're, you're, you're at the arm's length. On the other hand, we all know that sight is much more convincing than, than touch. Why? Because touch relates you to the mitzvahs and sight relates you to the mahus. What is the mahus, for example, going back to our table? A table is not more than a legs. A table is something which has an environment. It was conceived within the environment. There's a context where it belongs. And there's a reality behind it. You can't pin this down. You can't touch that. But that's the truth of Soga Zamahus. There's a reality. Two words, no, no. Seeing a table out of context or seeing a table in context. Seeing a table out of context is saying, who built it? Where does it come from? What's it doing here? Seeing a table in context, these questions don't even exist. Who cares who built it? The human spirit built it. Don't you see what this is? It's not attributed to the carpenter. It's attributed to the to the to, to the uh, concept, and that is its reality. So in Malik Olaumim, it could be Hasoga. And in this Hasoga, there are different levels. In Atsiyu's Hasoga Samahus. <coughs> in Atsiyu's, there is the Gil, there's a Lakus record, and the Lakus is beginning. Therefore, the Oyer of Malik Olaumim has a reality. The Shomish and Ganeiden also see it that way. In our world, in Bia, you don't see it that way. You see the Mitzis. And then from the Mitzis, you deduce, okay, this is how it's structured. This must be its usage. This is it. 
for this morning. Have a great day.